Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, making a quick video here. It's actually Sunday. I don't really make uh, typically make videos on the weekend, but I just wanted to make a video of something that always actually comes to, to mind, you know, when you're trying to help people out and do things. It reminds me of uh, like when my kids were young, right? Oh, uh, dad, um, I want a skateboard. I want a game. I want uh, the best shoes. I want whatever, whatever it was, right? Now, I always saved up. I worked hard so that I can try to get it for them. But as we got closer and closer and closer uh, to Christmas, let's say, um, you know, they seem to get more and more upset and pouty because uh, dad's been working all the time and he probably forgot what we wanted. And, you know, and then they start murmuring amongst each other that, you know, are they going to actually get the gift that they thought they were going to get? Or like, um, you know, when I used to work in the corporate arena and, you know, I'm going to a lot of meetings with the owner of the company so I can talk about, you know, my guys uh, uh, working and, you know, try to get them a bonus for Christmas, uh, possibly a raise because they deserve it um, or not me myself not taking a bonus or raise so that it can get, you know, distributed to them. But every time they see you go in and out of the office, they're thinking and murmuring amongst each other. Oh, he's probably just going to get all the money. Oh, we're probably not going to get a promotion. Oh, we're probably going to get let go. And, and then, you know, they start that conversation and, and end up hating me at the end of the day. Um, uh, or, you know, you're, you, you have a, a friend, um, you know, and it's their, their birthday and, you know, you celebrate every year. And so, like, you want to do something special. So your friend is trying to call you. But every time your friend calls you, you know, you're actually out there trying to set, you know, the surprise party up. So you don't get to pick up the phone. And so your friend starts going out to his other friends or your mutual friends. You know, oh, man, he's probably doing this. Oh, he's probably not going to come to my, my birthday. Oh, he's probably just and probably and probably. And all of those scenarios, right, uh, what they have in common is, you know, you, you do stuff for people. And it doesn't mean when you're not in communication with them, like, hey, I'm out setting a surprise party for you. Hey, I'm working like an animal to get you your gifts. Hey, I'm working with the owners of the company so that I can get you your bonus and raises, right? So they don't know that. So they immediately resort to what's carnal, to what's flesh, to what they think, their, their concerns, their worries. And they start murmuring amongst each other. And the, true, the, the, the same is true, I guess, with almost everything, you know, especially if you're the type of person who... Uh, likes to do things for people, who likes to provide for people, who likes to surprise people, who likes to be there for people, who likes to uplift people. You know, it, it's this this kind of cycle and you wonder all the time. I know I do. You know, uh, what am I doing this for again? <laughs> it's like they, they'll, they'll hate you. They'll talk about you. They'll start murmuring. They'll start, you know, all of these little slanderous conversations. And then you hear about it. And that's kind of the sad part. You'll hear about it. You'll know what they're saying. You'll know where they stand. You'll know what they're thinking. You'll know everything that you don't want to hear, especially when they don't know that you're going out of your way to do tremendous things for them. And that's kind of like the, the, the problem that we have, you know, I guess in, in this world and society, and I'm sure parents can attest to this, entrepreneurs can attest to this, uh, uh, people who have uh, large squads of, of people, uh, subordinates working for them, is like, you know, you'll, you'll bend over backwards. I mean, you'll give your last uh, chicken, you'll work to the bone or until your hands are bleeding you know, so that you can provide, so you can provide, so you can provide, so you can provide. And yes, they're not going to know all of the information along the way because you're trying to surprise them. You're trying to work it out for them. You're trying to make something for them. And all you get is to hear all of the negativity, you know, uh, what you're doing, what you're not doing, what they think you're doing, what they think you're not going to do. And it's just sad because, you know, like that's cool for one, two, three, four, five years, maybe. Not cool at all but then you know as time progresses and then you start to see that man this is just i guess the condition of human nature it's like i mean if you're not constantly just giving and giving and giving and giving and feeding and feeding and feeding and feeding 
and letting them know, letting them know, letting them know that it's for, for them, I mean, boom, it takes a second, you know, for them to just, bam, turn their back, and all of a sudden, you're the bad guy, and then you're hearing all of this nonsense. So then Christmas rolls around, and you're like, Merry Christmas, and you kind of give it, you know, almost with a little side eye, and I don't want to say begrudgingly, but you're like, I know what you've been saying about me, or, you know, uh, you give the news to your to your team at the office, uh, you know, one by one, of course. Hey, uh, Sal, uh, uh, I see you've been working hard, and uh, you know, I, I know that you're you're a type of person who puts his nose to the grind and gets things done. Uh, so uh, I, I spoke with the owners of the company, and I would like to uh, give you this bonus or this raise or bonus and raise or bonus raise and promotion. And then all of a sudden, their eyes light up. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> or, <clears throat> excuse me, or that friend, you know, who walks through the doors and you're right there front of center, surprise, and you're like, surprise, knowing that they said all this stuff about you and they were talking and they were slandering and they were blah, blah, blah. And, and but of course, you, you did it out of love to begin with, so you forgive them and you move on and have uh, an awesome time. But the moral of the story is it's very difficult for uh, people uh, to always let you know what's, what's going on. I mean, sometimes that moment, that, that silence, that, 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 that recluse, that time away, that time uh, where you're not hearing from me, it doesn't mean that I'm out there, you know, stabbing you, that I'm, uh, putting everything in disarray and, and trying to break your foundation. I mean, that's, that's the furthest thing from the truth. And anybody who knows me for more than a minute knows that that's just a complete lie. But it's more of, you know, hearing through the grapevine and then feeling like, wow, did my friends really say that? Man, did, did, did the subordinates, the guys who, by the way, I say subordinates only uh, in reference so that you understand that this is a work environment in this, in this particular scenario, but everybody that I come in contact with, I try to actually be friends with, you know, I'm not uh, trying to separate this whole boss analogy with subordinate thing, but in this particular scenario, I just want you to know that when I say subordinates, I mean, these are people that I care about. These are people that I respect. These are people that I know work hard and, and they deserve the bonus, the raise and all that other stuff. But, you know, it's when you when you tell them about the raise and the bonus and then the surprise that they have in their in their face or when you tell your kids or when they open up their presents and they're like. All right. And it's like it's that moment, that moment that in any one of these scenarios that people realize like, oh, gosh, I've been talking bad about this guy. I've been saying this to other people. I've been saying things that are untruthful. These were all of my, 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 my fears and all of these negative thoughts that I had that they were all mine. And, 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 and here I am, I slander this poor guy and, and I, and I curse his name and I abandoned him and, you know, left him for dead. And it's, it sucks. I will say it sucks. However, I am uh, mature enough and I've been through this about a zillion times to, uh, recognize that this is this is the human condition this is human nature so to all of you guys out there who and you know exactly who you are like literally hold on where's the camera you 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 know i'm talking to you you know exactly who you are how do you know exactly who you are well you're the one who's been talking you're the one who said this to this person and this person said this to this person and you ever you know uh, uh, this is what I feel about him and you know what I think and then this person that you think is not going to say anything says something to somebody else and then it just ugh, it becomes ugly so at the end of the day guys um you know believe it or not that's the that's the whole thing believe it or not um you know the things that I do I do do for people um and as as stupid or awesome as that may sound um at the end of the day you know it does take its toll and, you know, sometimes enough is enough. But you know who you are. You all, not just you, you all know who you are. And, you know, guys, I forgive you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, let's just, boom, let's just move on like as, as if uh, nothing happened. 
and just know that um, the things that I have been doing and the things that I've been moving away uh, where you haven't been hearing too much information uh, about me is uh, are, are the things that I've been working on. All right. So um, you know who you are. You don't even need to come to me. You don't need to. I'm not even looking for any apologies. I'm not looking for a I didn't mean to say it in that context. You know who you are. Um, that's your integrity or lack thereof. And that's totally cool. That's you. I mean, like I said, everybody is um, different. Uh, that's just not the way how I roll. All right, guys. But um, let's look forward to the next chapter. Exciting chapter. Awesome chapter that is literally right here on the horizon. And uh, look forward to that because 2024 is going to be amazing and probably more amazing because right here at the tail end of 2023, we're, we're just bursting. All right. So looking forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, and for those of you who are just listening to all this and hear blah, 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 blah. I mean, you might know somebody or you might be that type of person or you might be a person like the, in the scenarios that I've that I've mentioned or you may know someone. So just, you know, uh, share this and pass it along at the very least. Just like it as if uh, as if you care. All right, guys. So we'll uh, see you around. Peace.